what's up boys i know we've been slow with the gameplay haven't been pumping out because for the last couple weeks i've been taking care of my newborn son who was born january 3rd christopher paul jr cp2 if you want to check out more about that check out the instagram the links are below these are all the pictures that i have so make sure you guys check that out leave some likes comments all those good things so that's where i've been for pretty much the last month or so but no money spent has taken a turn it has taken a turn for greatness it's taken a turn for being too good for being a regular team i honestly think i've proven my point uh that no money spent it's very possible you know if you're at least a little bit good at the game you can have a really good madden team if you can win those 18 wins on weekend league that is the key to having a comp madden team without spending any money i really think if you can get to that mark you can get there but now this team i put together as we take a look at it is pretty much i feel like this is a 25 and old bus team and this is where we're at right now we have justin herbert obviously at quarterback he has set the tone he has changed the game for no money spent have christian mccaffrey we have that new snow one um we got him boosted up he's tough we have tyree kill we have Deion sanders with playmaker we have cooley and we have santana moss that new santana moss uh yeah this is what no money spent has become so offensively i'm not lacking at all um i don't know if i have the best players in every position but i these are good enough to beat anybody so don't be fooled by that these offensive linemen good enough to block anybody uh, the skill position is good enough to beat anybody defensively same thing i mean we're not super geeked but we're good enough to beat anybody don't have full lawrence taylor just have that base legend uh we use kendall fuller we use uh landon collins Deion sanders as safety sean taylor full sean taylor drc marcus peters that new marcus peters will get him the 99 speed legerious need as you see over here i still have chiefs theme team and the washington football team theme so all those teams, all those players on those teams will get a boost. So that's Sneed, Marcus Peters, DRC, Dion, Kendall Fuller, any but Deacon Jones, as you see here, Derek Thomas, Montez Sweat on offense, Moss, Tyreek Hill, Cooley, all these guys will get a boost. So that's what makes it pretty easy to go ahead and use this team here on out and uh, be able to really compete with them. And like I said, I want to know if you guys think this series has helped you at all as a man player. Open your eyes to the fact that, you know what, it's not about spending the most money. It's about getting better at the game. But let's get into this gameplay. Really good one from this weekend. I went 24-1 and this weekend league. <sighs> really short of my goal this year to go 25-0 and with no money spent. Lost one game, and I just was lackadaisical. Sometimes I play 50 games a weekend league every weekend. <sighs> did come out on a losing effort of one of those 25 games was it this game stay tuned to find out all right boys i'm playing saint he's probably one of those next up players that might sneak around and win a club next year a real xbox sweat and we fumble to kick off uh to start the game versus him so this is a player that you don't want to be at your best dad to play he's been around a long time on his xbox leaderboards but we pick him right back get the ball back we're right back on serve now back to back turnovers um so we're feeling okay with that like i said this guy's probably next up to uh win a club next year and we're really make a move in one of these man tournaments he's been grinding the game a lot a good young player that's on xbox um but usually i use that playmaker with that Deion sanders if you guys don't have that in your arsenal it's something you should look in it's four ap it's a lot of ability points but it's definitely a tough ability uh to really break down man and zone defenses that's the difference this year playmaker used to only be good against zone now it beats man coverage now so if you're struggling with man you're struggling with max coverage take a look at playmaker as we go up top to the corner route and it's picked off right there by Dion. i'm going to santana moss i'll be honest man he's the fastest receiver in the game right now at least slot archetype he gets the 99 speed but i don't like throwing to a 5 10 guy i, I just feel like he's too short uh and people catch the ball over him like they did in that pick it was a tough catch but if i have a little more height right there we can at least knock it down and not cause a turnover but that's our second turnover of the game uh gotta play some good defense i've been playing a little bit different defense uh, a lot more man coverage a lot more uh soft coverage based defense it's a lot how i won my belt in man 17 rushing three playing man coverage putting the right zones out there and cross man and stuff like that to make sure i take away what the opponent wants to do you see him right there hitting me with that playmaker so if you guys haven't added that to your arsenal i would definitely go to it so i'm, I'm i went from blitzing everybody as he gets a, a run commit 
uh, touchdown right there out of goal line um, to go up 7 nothing. But I have been going a little bit more coverage. I feel like people struggle against it. We cause some more turnovers and really uh, get to see some more plays out of the opponent. I like this defense. It's, it's doing pretty well for me. If you guys have been watching the streams, if you haven't, make sure you check out that link below. And if you ever see me in the Chargers jerseys for Herbert, that's how you know it's no money spent. The Eagles jerseys will always be the God squad. Uh, it's right here. We're going to go back up top to that Santana Moss card. Like, that's what I tried to do on the first pick. A little bit different trajectory. But we, and, and what? What? And look, I didn't even notice. He didn't even get his feet down. Santana Moss, I'm telling you, those short receivers, uh, they're for the birds. But I'm hit this crossing route over here. Santana Moss, first down. Uh, we're at the two-minute warning now. Still 7-0. I'm telling you, these games go by fast when you're playing some good players. Not a lot of incomplete passes. Not a lot of big plays. We're going to use a lot of clock. And clock, is, clock and game management is going to come into a big deal here in this game uh as i stay in the pocket here as long as i can two-man rush eventually gets to me take a big sack i want to milk some clock here make sure he doesn't get the ball back we get a second and 22 um we're gonna look for wheel route nothing doing i'm out of the pocket throw the ball away probably should have took a sack right there but i throw the ball away um right here is third and 22 this is third and field goal make sure i get a couple yards stay in bounds with mccaffrey settle for my three rough to do but you know you got to stay in the game you got to get points while you can in the first half uh it's a long game you know i got to get something on the board there go down seven to three there's 40 seconds left he has no timeouts so he, it's going to be tough for him to move down the field and make something happen here. But uh, so for me, I'm, I'm looking to just, you know, keep everything in front of me. If he throws something in bounds, God bless him. Right there, he throws the ball away, actually gets intentional grounding. That's great for me. Stops the clock and loses it down for him. Tries to go up top here. We have people all over it. Overthrown a little bit right there from his Rich Gannon card. Third and 25. We're going to get to that. Once again, rushing three. Everything is pretty much covered down the field has to throw the ball away saves me a timeout three timeouts he's kicking the ball off with 17 seconds let's see what we can do can we do anything i want to go right up the field save as much time as possible tackled right there i'm on the 41 yard line 10 seconds we're gonna drop back we're gonna playmaker up i'm telling you it's the most overpowered ability in the game fall down call a timeout get a field goal before half so we haven't touched the paint yet but we're alive in this game seven to six is right where we want to be kicking off the second half though so i'm glad i'm only down one point uh if he scores a touchdown i'll still be in a one possession game because i'll be down eight that's what i mean about go ahead and get your points early make sure you put some stuff on the board as much as you can in the first half put some things on the board down by one point you see this new defense the running back i'm pretty much going to use a guard you can't really man up the running back you can't really put anybody on him as you see him playmaker the running back here hitting that alvin kamara underneath uh, Alvin Kamara is probably the best receiving back in the game here. It goes with that playmaker ability. Again, see how it's beating man coverage. That's super tough, uh, super effective way to um, beat, beat man cover, beat any type of coverage. Right here he has all day, third and four. He's going to scramble, nothing doing, throws the ball away. Fourth and four. We're only going to rush two right here. I have everything bottled up, absolutely everything. Going to send my user at him, but he finds somebody at the last second coming back deep across the middle. His own Santana Moore. I think that was Dion. Big play on fourth down. I feel like I was playing great defense that drive. Just giving up that play was definitely rough. Um, but, you know, he's not in the paint yet. I'm still alive. Closing in the end of the third quarter here. Got to take our time. Was nothing doing. He's got to throw the ball away again. As you see him right here, man, his his passing numbers are not good. Feel like I'm just bending but not breaking. Once again, he's gonna playmaker back over and lob it. Little bit of touch, possession catch inside the five. Got to hold the door here. He goes fullback dive. Bo Jackson, nothing doing. Third, uh, three yard line. He goes with a stretch to Kamara. And what's interesting, after he scores, he's going to go for two to make it a two possession game. Pretty much end the game here, but we shoot the gap with Deion Sanders, stop him in the backfield. So instead of going up nine and pretty much ending the game, he's only up seven. So I'm seven points away from tying, eight points away from taking the lead. But pay attention to the clock. 26 seconds left here in the third quarter. Um, I can go ahead and, you know, it takes a lot of cojones to go ahead and make this the last drive of the game, but I'm feeling like that's what I want to do is I step up in the pocket, another playmaker over the middle, boom. But what happened? Of course, my feet were across the line. Yeah, barely. 
barely. I think EA EA's a little, they're not generous on that as far as where you can stand on the line. So we get a second and 15, hit this little route right here to Santana Moss. The clock's gonna keep running. We're gonna milk it down under 10 seconds, hit a little run right here. Christian McCaffrey, once again, now we're gonna milk this clock. We're gonna see where it can take me. Almost under three minutes right here. We're gonna hit this slant over the middle, Santana Moss first down and we're going to pop a little run right here this is going to take us to the two minute warning just like that we're in the guts of the game down by seven we have to have everything we can uh to go ahead and score here we're gonna hit this crossing route santana moss we are inside the 10 now he's into his timeouts so we're just going to run right here take away his timeouts we're not going to let him see the ball hopefully the rest of the game he's definitely not going to have timeouts if he sees the ball go with another base we pick up two yards get a little bit closer here Third and goal, we're gonna run stretch again, get stopped, we get to a fourth down milk, all this clock, come out in the same set where we're gonna pass and we're gonna find Chris Cooley on the drag, touchdown, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for one, tie the game up, I have three timeouts, he might even make a mistake right here like he did to end the first half and we can go ahead and capitalize on that, but there's 39 seconds, he has no timeouts, it's the same situation as the first half, he can throw something underneath, I would be fine with that. Right here, nothing doing for him. He's gonna scramble, pick up a couple yards, get out of bounds, 31 seconds. Anything in bounds, he's pretty much cooked right here. So I'm trying to funnel everything to the middle of the field. He goes to the crossing route, catches it, but gets his knee and down. So we go ahead, spikes the ball, his knees were down. So that's the last play. He's gonna hit the flats and Landon Collins, there he is wrapping up. That's gonna be in the regulation. So we're gonna to go to overtime. Fought this game, managed it well, managed it pretty perfectly at the end of the end of the game and end of the half. Uh, not not the most high power game at all you've ever seen, but just an example of game management. As we're gonna kick off in overtime here. Now pay attention. I've been rushing three three people. I would say every single play. You know, and, and I think feel like there's two ways to play defense, man. Send send them every play or drop them every play. And right here we're gonna send seven at them. When you, get, when you get someone's mental rhythm sending two every time, they're not ready when you send seven. We get a big sack right there. Get him to a third and 11. Pressure on him again. Quarterback's tired. Floating one over the middle. We get him to a fourth down. He's going to drop back, go to flood, and we're ready to click on acrobat dive interception pick. GG's in the chat. That's going to turn him over and over time. Just... I mean, when you when you sit back in coverage all day, when you sit back and then when you, you pick your spots to send those seven people, man, I sent it on second down, got a huge sack, ends the game. And I'll tell you guys, you guys have watched a lot of Madden games. Have you ever seen me miss an ice field goal? Nope. And today's not going to be any different. So there it is, man. That's no money spent. That's the gameplay. That's why they watch, man. 24 and one this week. Make sure you guys tune in this weekend on the stream to see if I can get that 25 and 0. It's been elusive. I've been I've been laying down. I'll be honest. 24 and 1 back to back weeks. Make sure you guys tune in. Like I said, I'm sorry for the lack of content. I've been dealing with this newborn. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. So you want to check out more of that? Follow my social medias. All those links are below. I appreciate you guys with the continued support.